and legs are long. Okay, the chest bones are thin and rounded, and the bones of your head are flat and rounded, and the uh, bones of your small fingers are short. Okay. So, and after that, the skeleton of an adult is made up of 206 bones. Okay, remember that the skeleton of an adult is made up of 206 bones. But at birth, you have more bones that grow together, that grow day by day as you grow to an adult. As you grow bigger, the new cells are added to your bones. Alright, and they also become larger and longer. Okay, remember this, as you grow bigger, the new cells are added to your bones and they may also become larger and longer. And the next one is the bones are tough and hard outside, but they are soft and spongy inside. Okay, I'll show you. Here, what, what does the point is telling that the bones are tough and hard outside. The bones are tough and hard outside, but they are soft and spongy inside. They are soft and spongy inside. Okay? So, what is it? The inside of the bone contains, alright? The inside of the bone contains a jelly-like substance that is known as a bone marrow. What is it? Bone marrow. Okay? The inside of the bone contains a jelly-like substance that is known as a bone marrow. And the next point is bones are living and can mend themselves if broken. Okay? If suppose your bones are broken, what will happen? Since the bones are living and it can mend themselves if broken. It takes time but it will be recovered as the time goes on. Okay, so now let's move on to the parts of the skeleton. Okay? So I'll explain you one by one the parts of this skeleton. The first one is the skull. The bones of your head make up a skull. Okay, remember that. What is a skull? The bones of your head make up a skull. And it protects the brain and contains holes for the eyes, nose, ears, mouth and backbone. Alright? It protects. What does the skull do? The skull protects the brain. Okay? And it contains holes for the eyes, ears, nose, mouth and for the backbone. The skull is made up of 22 different bones that are joined together. Okay, remember that the skull is made up of how many different bones? 22 different bones. Out of which the upper part of the skull is made of 8 bones and the face is made up of the 14 bones. Alright, so all together it makes up a 22 different bones. Alright, and the lower jaw bone, that is this part of your face, alright, the lower jaw bone is the only moving bone in the skull. Okay, so this is all about the skull and the next one, the next number two is the back bone, alright. The back bone as you can see on the screen, the back bone has 33 small bones called vertebrae. The back bone has 33 small bones called vertebrae which are joined together and form a back bone, okay. Each vertebrae has a hole in it through which the delicate spinal cord passes. Alright, each vertebrae has a hole in it through which the delicate spinal cord passes. Spinal cord is the connection from your brain to all parts of your body. So the spinal cord is protected by the backbone. Okay, the backbone is also called as the spine or vertebral column, as you can see on the screen, and. Each vertebrae has a hole in it through which the delicate spinal cord passes as I have already told you. So thus the vertical column thus protects the spinal cord. So the third one is the ribs. Alright. The ribs are the thin flat curved bones. Okay. That form a cage around the heart and lungs to protect them. Okay. You can see in the screen. So this there are uh, 12 pairs of ribs. Okay, remember that how many pairs of ribs are there? 12 pairs of these. Out of this, the first 10 pairs of ribs are attached to the breast bone or the sternum in front. What is the meaning of sternum? You can see on the screen, the picture is given there. So the first 10 pairs of ribs are attached to the breast bone or the sternum in front. So out of the 12, 10 pairs are attached to the breast bone. Alright? And so the rest, two pairs of bones are not attached to the sternum and thus it is called as a floating ribs.
Okay, so after number three, the ribs, we come to point number four, that is the limbs. Okay, here limbs means the arms and legs. Alright, the arms and legs of a human body or an animal, you can say. So here, arms is the upper limb and legs is the lower limbs. Okay, let's come to the upper limbs, that is our arm. Okay, the bones of these upper limbs are attached to the shoulder blades here. All right, and the upper arm is known as the humerus, as a bone called humerus, and the lower arm has two bones, and the wrist and fingers have small bones. Okay, then we come to the leg that is known as the lower limbs. Okay, the lower limbs that is the leg, and the lower limbs are attached to your hip bone. Okay, like the upper limbs, the arms are attached to the soldier blades in the same way. So the lower limbs, the leg, all right, the bones of the lower limbs are attached to the hip bone. Okay, and here the upper half of your leg, the upper half of the leg is having a long bone called a femur or a thigh bone. It is the longest bone of the body. Remember that femur is the longest bone in your body. Then, the lower half of your leg, okay, after the thigh, the lower half of your leg is having a two bone, that is shin bone and calf bone, alright. The bone, the lower half of your leg is having two bones, that is, this is the shin bone. And along with this one. Small bone, you can see that is the calf bone. Okay, so our next topic is number three. The point number three is joints. Okay, uh, we have already learned about the different parts of the skeleton and the different types of bones that is present in our body. So now let's come to the point joints. All right. Okay, so let's take an example. Your bones which are present in your hands, you can bend it, isn't it? You can bend your bones, right? So, why this is possible? This is possible because the way the, jo the, the, way the bones are joined to each other, okay? You can bend your bones. This is possible because the bones, this is, the, this is possible the way the bones are joined together, okay? So, joints are the places where bones are joined together. Remember that joints are the places where the bones are joined together, okay? Then, the bones at the joints are held together by strong, stretchy bones called ligaments. What is this ligaments? Okay, uh, the tissue which allow to bind the bones together and it makes a, and it joins the bones here. Okay, the bones at the bones at the joints are, okay, the bones at the joints. This is the joints where your upper arm and the lower arm is joined together. Okay, so here this is held together. They are joined together with the help of a strong stretchy bonds called ligaments. Called ligaments. Okay, and you can have uh, different types of movements is possible because of the joints. Except the joints in the skull is not, except the joints in the skull do not move. Alright, and now after this, uh, I'll uh, read out the, some of the main kinds of movable joints. That is a hinge joint, ball and socket joint, pivot joint and bleeding joint. These are some of the main kinds of movable joints. Okay, so now the main kinds of movable joints. Let me explain you about the main kinds of movable joints. Number one is, as I already read before, hinge joint. Okay, hinge joint. What is this hinge joint? The hinge joint is a strong, but it allows only back and forward movement. Okay, the hinge joint allows only the back and forward movement, and this type of joint is present in our elbow and knee. Okay, number two is ball and socket joint. Ball and socket joint. In this joint, the end of one of the bone is round like a ball. Okay, and that end is fit into a hollow part called the socket in the 
other bone. All right. And this type of joint allows the movement in all directions. In movement in all direction in this way. Okay, you can move in all direction. And uh, this type of joint is present in the soldier joint and in your hip joint. Okay. And the next is number three, pivot joint. Okay, pivot joint is the joint between the first and second vertebrae of the backbone. Vertebrae, what is this vertebrae? I have already told you before that the small bones in your backbone is called vertebrae. So the joint between the first and the second vertebrae of the backbone is known as a pivot joint. It allows the head, allows the head to turn left and right and to move up and down all right and number four is gliding joint in this joint gliding joint okay in this joint the bones are slight over each other okay the bones are slight over each other it is present in your ankles in your ankles and in your wrist okay this type of joint is present in your wrist and in your ankles. It allows side to side as well as back and forward movement. So I hope you all are clear about these main kinds of the movable joints. So our next topic is the muscular system. I have already told you that the main organs of the muscular system are the muscles. Okay. So as we already know that the bones, we can bend the bones with the help of the joints but the, the bones cannot move by themselves all right so the muscles are attached to the bones and pull the bones to make them move all right and there are more than 640 muscles in your body remember this there are more than 640 muscles in your body and together they make up to 40 percent of your body weight okay 40% of your body weight and the muscles are made up of a tough elastic tissues that is known as a tendons. I have already written here. Muscles are attached to the bones by tough bands of tissues called tendons. Okay, muscles are made up of a tough elastic tissues called a tendons and so the muscles can only pull at the bones, they cannot push. So at least two types of muscles are needed to move the bones all right for example bicep and triceps biceps and triceps moves the lower arms to move up and down okay for example when you want to raise your arm what happened the bicep this is known as a bicep and this is known as a triceps when you raise your arm what happens here the bicep contracts and pulls up your arm and when you want to pull down your arm, the triceps contracts and it helps to pull down your arm. So this is all about the biceps and triceps. Uh, let's move on to the kinds of muscles. Alright, kinds of muscles. Under the muscular system, there are different kinds of muscles are there. There is voluntary muscles, number two involuntary muscles and number three is cardiac muscles. Now what is this voluntary muscles? The muscles... Uh, the movement of the muscles that is under our control like for example the movement of your hands the movement of your leg and the movement of your fingers so the movement of the muscles that is under our control is known as a voluntary muscles and number two is that involuntary muscles it is opposite to the voluntary muscles that is the movement of the muscles that is not under our control it belongs to the invol involuntary muscles like for example the movement of the stomach small intestine and the walls of the blood vessels okay and number three is cardiac muscles cardiac muscles is a special kind of uh, tough muscles and the heart is made up of these cardiac muscles all right and it is an involuntary muscles which works throughout your life and it never get tired so i hope everyone you have you are clear about this lesson about these bones and muscles and i hope that you are able to answer the first question mind opener question which i have given you that what would happen if there are no bones when you raise your hands what will be the shape of your raised hands all right i hope you understood the lesson thank you stay home stay safe do it for yourself do it for your family do it for india let's break the chain